Hello, 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 my dear. This is Jal Kumar Sen, and uh, in this video tutorial, you are going to learn about damping factor and uh, logarithmic decrement. And of course, uh, in this video tutorial only, I will share with you a numerical problem which has been asked in gate previous year paper. So definitely, so in this video tutorial, you will learn about damping factor, logarithmic decrement, as well as a problem related to both the topics. Sounds cool. Now let's go for it. First of all, damping factor. Damping factor. What is damping factor basically? You know, it is the ratio of actual damping coefficient divided by, I mean, on the divisions, critical damping coefficient and actual damping coefficient is denoted by c critical damping coefficient is denoted by double c and uh, zeta it's it is denoted by zeta damping factor again we know that c by 2 root under km this k is known as stiffness and this m is known as mass well, these things are most important in case of damping factor. So, in the gate examination, what they do, basically, they will relate these three things. Zeta, C, 2 root under Km. I mean, if you can relate, I mean, they will give you this, find out this, and they will give you this value. So, in this way, you can find out uh, related things, I mean, uh, things related to it, right? So, uh, this is about damping factor. Now, come to the logarithmic decrement, just like... In case of logarithmic decrement, it is denoted by delta. This is known as logarithmic decrement. Right? So, logarithmic decrement is equal to 2 pi zeta y root under 1 minus zeta square. This zeta is known as damping factor. So, these two formulas... I mean, if somebody, when they have asked question in gate, if somebody know this formula and uh, that person practice a little bit about it, then definitely he or she could attempt the question quite easily with maintaining accuracy. Because I am sharing with you this formula because uh, at least you have approach to solve the question before uh, directly land on the question so that is the reason I am sharing with you actually in my most of the videos I have shared first formula then little bit basic concept about it about the topic then I have gone to the problem so the same thing I am just following in this case also in this video tutorial also so are you ready to learn that question I am sure you are ready right so let's go for it so here is the question in front of you right now you can read this question i hope so well i got pretty good camera as well as you can listen to me very uh, with with comfortable voice that's why i got very good mic even so don't worry about that i will keep improving these things okay for your ease now in this question what we have given a vibrate a vibratory system consists of a mass of this so most important thing is that you have to notice these things. A spring stiffness is 1000 Newton per meter. A dashboard with a damping coefficient is this. So this is known as C, this is K and this is M. We have given C, we have given K, we have given M. Okay. Now we will go to the question first what we have to find out basically. So in this question, first question, let's go for the first question. First question states that the value of critical damping of the system is. Suppose that there is a system and in this system, what is the value of critical damping? We have to find out that. So we know that critical damping is equal to 2 root under km. So 2 root under km, right? So k is what? Stiffness 1000 m is 12.5 well before going to solve this equation i have to check out units now let's check stiffness newton per meter kz both of them are in si so i don't have any problem to find out its unit because the given unit of critical damping is also in uh, si unit right so will not face any uh, problem related to unit so what we require right now can you guess 
yeah guess it calculator i slowed it right so k uh, 1000 12.5 yeah we got this one we have to find out its root we have got this one multiple two so the value we are getting is 223.606 newton second per meter so can you tell which one is the right answer yes option a is the right answer for this question right now let's move to the next question in this question they have s to straight forward question right no need to think too much don't need to think too much just you can find out the answer so they told that find out data delta that is logarithmic decrement we know delta is 2 pi zeta 1 minus zeta square you know this but what is zeta damping coefficient but thing is that we don't know what is the value of zeta. Don't have given in this question. But we do know zeta is equal to c by zeta is equal to c by c c. So what is c? We have given c is 15, and we have calculated c c that is 223.606, right? So do calculation again. 15 223.606. So we got here, what is the value exactly we are getting here, it's a ratio, so there would not be any unit of this, eight, right? So we are getting the value of zeta is here, 0 0.06708, uh, right? Now we have to put this value here, so 2 pi 0 0.06708, one more thing I would like to share with you, just to make, uh, let me do little calculation, then I will share with you, yeah. So 2 multiple pi multiple 0 0.06708 Okay, divided 1 minus 0 0.06708 whole square 1 divided by 2 So answer I am getting here 0 0.422 Okay, 0 0.422 Okay, that's cool, no problem So you can know exactly answer is not here so A is the right option. Actually, in gate they did not give option here. So, but by the way, I have solved this problem. Yeah, I was talking. So I hope you understand this question and uh, the formulas I have shared with you earlier. And uh, both the by using both the formula, we can solve the problem quite easily. We don't need to face any problem in uh, in future. I must say that. Well, so the main thing I wanted to uh, share with you, well, if you are studying vibration, mechanical vibration, then few topics are most important. But uh, most important thing is one word I would like to recommend. Practice. Yes, more you practice, you will get better approach. So, in case of mechanical vibration, it's not an easy subject itself okay probably you have studied this subject in your uh, engineering and i don't know in which semester you have studied but yes what mechanical vibration is one of the tough subject but thing is that you don't need to study all topics in uh, for preparation of gate you have to uh, prepare selected topics just like you know free vibration forced vibration uh, critical damping and then logarithmic decrement and then transmissibility and I must say that uh, critical speed of shaft or wheeling of shaft. These are most important topics. So what I have gone through, uh, you know, previous papers, I have seen most of the time in kid examination, they have asked question from these topics, right? So most of the thing, the thing is that what you require basically, you have to remember first formula and then why exactly actually I, why I'm sharing with you, people do mistake here. And nowadays you are not going to get this calculator so what is the problem basically you will face you will have to calculate on your monitor only you will get on screen calculator you have to use that so if you will not practice uh, that's why I have uh, told you the single word this is the key to get success in anywhere anywhere not only in the competitive examination in even life if you will practice a lot, you will become expert in that. And once you will become expert in that, uh, I don't think so anyone can stop you to get success. So practice a lot and uh, get success quite easily. So this word play most important role. Remember that. Okay. Uh, I hope you understand this topic and uh, the numerical problem I have shared with you. Thanks for watching.
see you soon in my next video bye bye